Today we are back on the Nebraska Lands USA map. This is my first video of 2020. Happy New Year to all of you. I woke up just about a half hour ago, did a few things, got breakfast, and looked out the window. And it looks like overnight we got just over 12 inches of snow. We'll be heading out plowing today with our 2020 Ford F-250 and our Kubota Skid Steer. We'll be doing a few commercial lots with a truck and then we'll be switching over to the Skid Steer. Let's head down to the kitchen, grab a cup of coffee, and head on out. This is pretty exciting to get snow on the first day of the year. And this will be awesome. We get to use the brand new uh, equipment. We'll grab a cup of coffee here, pretty warm. And I just put it there in a mug ready to go. And why don't we head out the uh, front door and kind of measure uh, how much snow we got. And it's pretty cool. We want to keep that closed. Come over here, put the ruler in, and uh, the ruler is completely covered. So that means over 12 uh, inches of snow, a foot of snow. And uh, we first have to plow ourselves out. Today we are using the brand new 2024 truck that was released a few days ago. Uh, this is a much more kind of stock version of the truck and this thing looks awesome. These are factory colors here, two tone panes and this is a uh, F250 Lariat, kind of a mid uh, to higher trim level with a 10 foot Fisher plow. I decided the uh, straight blade is re really all we need. Let's hop on the inside here and get going. Backing out of here will be a tight fit. It is a 10 foot garage door and we have a 10 foot plow. So if we angle it, uh, we should be good to go there. Perfect. And I do want to get the door closed uh, so we don't let the heat out. I hope everyone is excited for the new year. 2020 will be a pretty epic year here for the channel. A lot of cool things will be coming and I cannot wait for them. So we'll get our hazard lights and our uh, running lights on and really want to get some strobe lights though for these plow trucks. That would look awesome. But first uh, time plowing in the uh, new year. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how he's down below. I'm very excited uh, for uh, what's to come, and I hope everyone is excited as well. I really do like the uh, Fisher straight blade, even though uh, we could have uh, bought a V-plow. I really like this, and these are a little bit cheaper as well, pushing a ton of snow today. Now this 2020 does have the 6.7 power stroke and a few other things we do have is the uh, mud flaps on the moon bed liner. I mean those are just cool, uh, neat little uh, touches that I really like about the truck. Now I am someone that does prefer to just kind of see the truck stock, no modifications to them and I really like to also see these uh, trucks work so it's nice to uh, push snow with this. Another realistic thing you guys can see on the truck is uh, that the uh, front is sitting a bit lower not only because of the weight, uh, but we do need to install a leveling kit. Up next we have this commercial property here, it's pretty big, it is a pretty big paint or kind of body shop is the best way to put the uh, business. So let's kind of get plowing here and, and luckily they parked the car perfectly uh, for snow and uh, they did say we were getting snow last night but I was more, uh, paying more attention uh, to the uh, New Year celebrations and not to the forecast. Now I did edit this truck and I actually did raise up the plow mount just a little bit. I thought it was a bit too low and it could also be raised up a little bit. But I might look into leveling out the truck. But I kind of like it uh, how it is right from the factory. This truck's getting a pretty big workout today pushing all the snow. Now for my farming simulator videos, I do use a Xbox controller. I really do recommend it for those that do play on the PC. It's really good, especially for steering, for being able to kind of adjust how much uh, you want to accelerate the vehicle and also uh, for loaders and uh, plows and things like that. It's just a lot easier and I, I really do recommend it. Now this summer here for the channel will be pretty exciting. I cannot wait for it uh, once a kind of school is over for the year and we get to do some awesome things this summer. 
one more pass to clean it up here and then we'll move on we do have two more commercial ones and then we'll head over to the big big one where we get to use the new Kubota I actually put some snow tracks on it really recommend uh, snow tracks if you really want to kind of run track skid steers in the snow the dirt tracks just have you sliding around and that's not a safe thing and we need that pushing power of the skid steer I really do like this truck, especially in this blue. It looks awesome. That two-tone, I've always been a fan of the two-tone paints. Hopefully we get some more trucks uh, with options like this. We are back on the Nebraska Lands USA map, probably one of my new uh, favorite maps. It's just perfect all the way around. There's nothing wrong with it and probably one of the best towns, kind of one of the best farm maps uh, that has been new to farming simulator. A lot of uh, maps have gotten uh, brought over from 17, which is nice to see, but I, I definitely want to see new maps as well. And it's nice to do, uh, see maps like this. This is kind of a pretty quick, easy plow here for us. Uh, some of these commercial ones are big, some of them aren't. And ones like this are what I really like. Now it is on a pretty busy street, so we always do have to kind of watch traffic. Luckily though, it looks like people are kind of sleeping in. It must have been up last night celebrating the new year. And I hope everyone is excited for 2020. It is pretty cool that we are starting off the new year plowing with a 2020 pickup truck. Uh, this is a F-250. I mean, this truck I would have to estimate uh, was on the lot probably a few weeks ago. And this was probably 70 uh, to uh, kind of high 70s, if not close to $80,000. These trucks are pretty pricey. The diesel engine is around $10,000 option as well. So expensive trucks, but they definitely do the job. Perfect, so we got this plowed out here. That's pretty much it. Uh, they will just shovel the rest. Let's head on to the next one. Now I will be looking into getting some LED kind of strobe lights, kind of a nice light bar up top uh, to put right behind the uh, moon roof. I think that would be a great thing to do and maybe a few in the grill and maybe a few kind of in the back area. I think those would be pretty cool and kind of nice add-ons. Up next, we do have this kind of garage storage area here. Let me know down below in the comments, what is your favorite truck to go plowing with? Would you prefer a diesel or a uh, gas truck? I do know that diesel has a lot more torque down low and a lot more power in general. And I think diesels uh, probably are better for uh, snow plowing, but they are a little bit harder to get started up in the morning. Luckily, uh, being garage kept this uh, power stroke is no problem. Some of the older, older power strokes uh, definitely have to be plugged in, and I don't think uh, the newer ones really have to. Now the controls of this Fisher are actually the reverse of uh, kind of the western wide out plow and I've been using that plow a lot so that's kind of why you guys see me uh, trying to lift it up and actually uh, kind of put it down a little bit more. Hopefully uh, I might look into kind of reversing those controls just maybe that might be a little bit easier because when you switch between trucks it's pretty hard uh, when they're all different controls. Just about done here with this one. Wow, uh, pretty good timing as well. Luckily, uh, people are sleeping in, and it, I think a lot of these shops actually open up tomorrow, so not as big of a rush as usual, and that's pretty good here for us. So a lot of snow uh, we are pushing today. Let's stop by the gas station really quickly. We're just going to have to kind of just drive right through the snow. We need to get some diesel. I already went through a quarter of a tank, and let's get filled up.
perfect. And I definitely uh, do recommend putting the plow uh, down every time. But while it fills up, let's take a quick walk around. We do have the foldable uh, mirrors and steps, uh, which is pretty sweet. We do have the uh, King Ranch tires on it. This thing looks awesome. I do like that as well. You get different tires with the different uh, trim levels. That's pretty realistic. Now, one thing I do after every snowfall a few days after is I wash these trucks because these things get covered in salt and salt rusts them out. Awesome, we got that. Uh, let's kind of head over and this will be the majority of our day now just to plow out the lot. Now it is kind of one big commercial lot which has a big dealership in town and also a storage unit and I believe a few other things. So let's head over there and get going on that. If you guys have not already, I do ask that you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there. Now sometimes this plow does kind of get caught there on the ground. Hopefully uh, that we could get that worked out, but for now uh, we just have to work with what we have and here we are. So this kind of just pulls off to the side of the road and I think right about here will be good. Perfect. And we'll get the uh, Kubota warmed up. So we have this area to do in between those buildings and a little bit over there. This will be a lot of work, but the skid steer is the most efficient, luckily, at doing these. Let's lift this up. Hopefully it's not going to stuck. I always uh, try to park these in a way that they aren't going to snowed in. Luckily this wasn't too bad. We do have, I believe, a 7.5 foot uh, straight blade uh, that has hydraulics to kind of turn it. That's kind of the best thing i found uh, for this. Perfect. Now I have noticed there are a few problems with kind of how this plow does kind of push this snow, but it still works, which is awesome. I will have to say skid uh, steers and wheel loaders are probably the most popular uh, for snow removal. They're just so easy to maneuver in tight areas and also uh, they just have a lot of pushing power and it's a nice way to utilize uh, equipment like this when it's not uh, kind of uh, the season to be digging and things like that. And what are we caught on? Looks like parking lot lines. This is doing such a great job though, which is great. Let's see, I'll lift that up, lower that. I think that's going to be a much nicer, cleaner cut. Look at this thing push snow. I mean, this thing is so uh, powerful. With those uh, snow tracks, which are a bit pricey as well uh, to kind of switch between, but that's well worth it. So this back lot area seems to already be uh, kind of done which is nice look at this thing just pile of snow and the Kubota is going right through it I think a box of plow or a plow with hydraulic wings I think might be a little bit more efficient than this where we just only have an angle but this is kind of a basic plow and I still really do enjoy these. So we'll just push this back just a little bit more and then we'll kind of keep going here. This side I believe this is kind of the last pass over here. Perfect. I do have the heat running on the inside. It's nice to have it, and sometimes it just gets so warm here in the cab that I just have to uh, kind of lower it down a bit. Now we have started the new roleplay farming series here on the channel. I hope everyone is excited for that. That is pretty exciting, and we'll have to say uh, the new roleplay uh, series on the Lone Oak Farm map. I do recommend you check out the first video where we bought the farm. Look at this thing, just push the snow, angle it there, nice big pile, perfect. And looks like we have a little bit to do over here now. Yep. 
even though we did this, I definitely do want to just kind of clean this up. And uh, anyways, we do have to kind of keep going up front here. Now, for the new year, I definitely will be looking to maybe getting a new microphone and also uh, maybe doing a little bit more editing for these videos, but I also want to make the videos longer. Uh, I think that a little bit longer will be great here for the channel. Look at this thing just push the snow. It's like it's nothing uh, for the skid steer. And this is definitely the uh, last pass over here. That's really all we need uh, for this area. Nice big pile at the end. Let's plow out the entrance area and kind of get going on this side, but I don't think we'll do all of it here uh, since there's just so much to do. Plowing out this entrance will be a bit tricky, we'll uh, kind of give that a try and uh, go at it once we do a few passes over here. I don't think this area is uh, uh, more than maybe another pass, sliding a little bit there. We are on gravel so it's kind of why the tracks aren't really doing the best. Yeah, one more pass here to kind of clean this up and then uh, we'll try out that entrance. We will be putting this Kubota 2 work with the landscaping series, and I'm actually thinking about starting that series back up soon. Uh, we do have a shop, but I definitely want to move probably to Nebraska and uh, definitely uh, get a new fleet of trucks and toys and equipment. Perfect. This does such a great job there, and uh, let's kind of give it a go. Actually, We'll kind of hold off on that. Let's do the entrance way and then we'll call it a day. Where is the entrance? It's right here. We should be good to go straight at it. Perfect. Pretty big pile we are making here. But luckily we got the majority of the entrance done. And we'll probably just use a Ford also to help out in some areas. But uh, the skid steer, as you guys saw, was uh, pretty efficient today. And that's pretty much it here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Getting to use the Kubota with the straight blade and the new 2020 F-250 Lariat with a Fisher here in Nebraska for the first snow of 2020. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for an next one and subscribe for more.